Egeanos Y la mano en el giga gaya Jesus 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 I give you a mouth and a wisdom that your enemies cannot resist nor gain sin. Yeah! Glory to God! Latoa! Meanoa! Ialoa! In and out of. Somebody say, I will pray. I will pray. I will pray. Say, I give myself to prayer. Say it very loud. I give myself to prayer. Say it again. I give myself to prayer. When you pray in tongues, you rise like an edifice. You rise taller than mountains and situations. And from that position of height, you speak with authority. We are committed to the gospel. Prayer produces strength. You know, it appears to me, Pastor Praise, like in the Bible, the way he spoke about edification by teaching is the way he talked about edification by prayer. So when you pray, you're edified. When you are taught, you're edified. When you combine the two, is edification from all corners. Ziano Katela Beru Katana Akabaleta. If you're a member of this church and you don't speak in tongues, make sure you don't go home. Make sure you and your house don't meet till you speak in tongues. What, what is that? What is that? Egea knows. Ilamano nene giga gaya. Hey! Some of us are speaking the things anyhow. And then you, you cannot speak one. Lebo tale ngalamo rekete negila nakara nakita. Iya dododola da bababa. Ilamano ketela. This sign shall follow those that believe. Except you are not a believer. In my name, they shall speak with new tongue. Somebody say I'm a believer. I talk in tongues now when you see a ministry a church a pastor fall is as a result of non-praying church when a church doesn't pray for their pastor they expose their pastor to all kinds of attacks when a church doesn't pray for their pastor that's why brother Paul went all over the place brethren pray for us brethren pray for us brethren pray for us any ministry that is not given to praying for their pastor they expose their pastor to unnecessary pressure and attacks prayer clears things and gives your pastor an opportunity to do ministry without distraction pray for us that we be delivered from wicked and unreasonable men for all men have no feet pray for us that we have a door of utterance pray for us that the word of the lord may be glorified among us even as it is with you pray for us pray for us prayer is so important so important if you truly love your pastor one of the best ways to show your love for your pastor is to take quality time and pray for him it is called intelligent praying praying for your pastor is praying for the nations praying for your pastor is praying for continents praying for your pastor is praying for millions of people because your pastor has is the one that stands to reach out to these millions so when you pray for one you pray for all simon simon satan has desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat but i have prayed for you and when you are restored your brothers will be affected i'm not praying for your brothers i'm praying for you dear leader because once the leader is intact he will take care of the brethren it is called what intelligent praying i have prayed for you that your faith fail not and when you are restored strengthen your brethren it's called intelligent praying when a church give themselves to prayer they keep their pastor in a place of total cover and defense no tricks no strategy no wickedness no satanic manipulations can work why in the place of prayer a defense has been erected people will gather strategies will be measured out people will plan the more they are planning the more they are failing why they are failing they cannot explain prayer has gone into the place and is diffusing dismantling disorganizing prayer is rearranging and shifting things the more they plan the more they fail prayer is power it changes and rearranges things oh i love prayer i love i believe absolutely absolutely i believe in prayer i 
believe in the power that prayer produces i believe that if believers give themselves to pray we can see so much in a short time by a dagger by a gaga peter therefore was kept where in prison but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto god for him the church stood in the place of prayer and said no you have touched stephen you cannot touch peter and the effectual fervent prayer of the church availed and the angel of god moved in there and brought peter out of prison power was generated when you pray for me you generate power that enables me to spring forth and preach this gospel in places where ordinary people fear to enter see when you pray for me when you pray for me and i'm moving to a place even if it is governmental powers that are responsible once i enter the power of your prayer goes in there to organize things in a way i am given a platform to speak the word so you find me preaching in places where ordinarily people are not permitted to preach it's prayer that generates it are you understand i was invited to an office to just clarify something and then i got into that office and they brought a group of people for me to address <laughs> before you know it it became a teaching service everybody all there everybody came and said it became a teaching service and i had the opportunity to teach them and they asked questions and i explained explain scripture explain scripture what created that opportunity for me is prayer it's prayer you can't just enter people's office and gather them and start teaching office hours when people are working nobody will hear you but when prayers have gone ahead prayers can suspend anything and cause the people to listen to the gospel that's why i say pray that the gospel may have free cause and be glorified see when you pray enough for me even churches where they have sworn that i will not preach in them your prayers can go there and cause a few individuals who have influence in that church to decide that I must come. And their pastor cannot say no because he knows their level of influence. He will tell them, okay, even if you bring him, tell him not to preach this one. He shouldn't preach this one. That may be the, the only limit that may be there. But even when I come, it's the pastor that will ask for those ones. Because prayer goes, there is nowhere prayer will not enter. Prayer entered the prison, broke the prison and brought Peter out. It shows you there is nowhere prayer cannot enter except people are not praying. So that's why if a man of God fails, it's because the people in the church didn't pray for him. When you pray for your pastor, nothing can scratch him. The man will be making mouth like me and nobody can do him anything. I hope you know I, I make mouth very you think this much is for swallowing ever? No, it's for, it's for preaching the gospel. It's for declaring the whole counsel of God. It's for rebuke, reproof, correct, instruct. In and out of season. These are zo -zo -zo. I give you a mouth and a wisdom that your enemies cannot resist nor gain sin. When we pray, things happen. That's number one when we pray things happen if we want things to happen we must give ourselves to prayer james chapter 5 verse 16 confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that you may be healed the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availed much the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man make it tremendous power available and this power is dynamic in its workings 